Good afternoon, everybody. Today is October 4th. It is Thursday, 2018. I hope each and every one of you is having a blessed day. I hope you're all having a great day. I hope whatever it is, you're going to make the best out of today because remember, it is up to you on how life goes. Now, today, since it's Thursday, it's funny because a lot of stuff that I think about in my head, I try my best to put out here. And I don't want anybody ever to think that I don't have an overall intent to what I'm doing. Uh, right now, the reason why I'm going on with motivation in the afternoon is I'm actually going over to the Adams County Courthouse. Or, sorry, it's over um, on uh, Hampshire. Yeah. Of course, you know, my I don't got my Wii Boost turned on, so I have my signal. I have to, there you go. I'm boosting my signal now. I'm actually going over to vote right now. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Let me turn off my Wi-Fi. Because as I'm talking... All right. There we go. Now it should be better. All right. I'm not going to tell you who I'm going to vote for. I'm not going to tell you what political party I'm in. I'm not going to tell you who I like and who I don't like. At times, I'll tell you positives and negatives of people. And you can go on and you can see different things from me. But to me, the overall consensus is this. I don't want somebody going out there and voting or not voting for somebody based on what I do. And I know that every time I give somebody some advice or something, I'm sure people follow it or they do the exact opposite of what I do. But here's the thing. We have private elections for a reason, so let's get that out of the way now. And a lot of people have learned that I, I kind of sit in the middle on everything because I don't believe in any extreme. I don't believe in extreme left. I don't believe in extreme right. I do believe that people can be influenced by the media and by the social media and the news outlets that they have a propaganda. Um, does that mean that I'm more for one side than the other? No. I'm just saying it's been like that every single day in time. I also know that when Hitler came to power, you know, people argue with this, they didn't go and force themselves in. They got one vote. And once he became the power, they all got their votes taken away. You know, Mussolini, same way. Castro, you know, you look at Venezuela. You can look at Holland, Hungary. Uh, look at Russia. So you got to make your own decisions on stuff. But my suggestion is you look at history and study history. Now, what's funny is when I was taking history in school... When we got to history class, it was the most boring thing in the world for me. I'm not going to lie. It was boring. Now, why do I say this? Is because everybody around me, history was boring to them too. It wasn't until I had some great teachers that started showing me, you have to know history in order to make changes or in order to keep things the same way. Um, it wasn't until pretty much college in the Marine Corps that I really started loving history. Why? Because... Well, my unit, 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, is part of history in several parts of the world. Believe it or not, it's not my name. It says 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines, you know. And you'll see that 2nd Battalion, 8th Marines are all over the world. I mean, there's different things that they've had parts in. What I like, though, is the beginning roots of our history. When I tell everybody, keep this in mind. The people, the majority of the people that were in the colonies at the time... It wasn't that they wanted to break away from Britain. They really wanted to just keep to themselves. They wanted to keep in their bubble. And they really didn't want to fight for a thing called freedom. They didn't understand what that meant. They didn't mind living under British rule. However, our forefathers committed treason. And we have one of the most blessed countries in the world today. And we are able to have freedoms that we have today. And like so many other people, I just keep it at this. I don't, I don't really care right or left way people think, but if you take away just one person's rights because that's what you believe, keep this in mind, they'll take away your rights. So in other words, if, if you think that we should put laws on people because they don't feel the same way you do about something and we need to... Then remember, they someday somebody's going to come back and do that exact same thing to what you believe. That's why I say you can't go either side. You got to be in the middle somewhere. You got to study things. You got to read things. You know, there are people that are going to lie to you every day just so they get your vote. They're going to lie, cheat, and steal just so they can stay in power, so they can get rich. You know, so anyway, I'm heading the vote right now, and I want people to take that into consideration. Keep, keep this in mind. Marketers throughout the world, you know, hundreds of years old, they, they know how people, they, they know what to do and say on TV to get you to side with them but remember you got both sides on tv and that's why it's difficult and that's why a lot of people they just don't like politics and so when i go vote i'm going to go in and it's going to be private i'm going to vote because it, i basically earned that right and so did every single person in america 
but because I basically was willing to die for that, not saying anybody else is wrong, but being a Marine and everything, I like to go and I like to vote and I like to tell everybody else to get out their votes. Now I have all these people every day, oh, thank you for your service, thank you for your service, that's great. But you know what? You know how you can thank a veteran? It's by following the Bill of Rights, following the Constitution, by following what our forefathers put in place and make sure that we never get taken over by a dictator, socialist, or communist activities ever again because millions will die until people realize this doesn't work. And like I said, America may not be perfect. It may not be what everybody thinks it should be, but it is the best thing that's out there right now. And the only way to keep it is by having free elections, by being able to speak our mind, having freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, you know, the right to bear arms. You know, you may not like it, but what's the alternative? The government coming in and telling you what to do and how to do it and basically telling you how to live your life. Yeah, nobody wants that. So, I'm just here to tell you, I'm going to go vote now. We're going to do a motivational thing in a uh, little while. I am going to park right here where it says visitor parking. I'm not going to take my phone in with me. And in fact, I'm going to leave it on so you can see how fast it takes me to, to vote. So, let me switch it around. And um, I will be right back, okay? So, yes, this is going to be a live feed while I'm gone. I know you're going to like, why is he doing because I'm going to show you how long it takes to go vote and what you got to do. And I'm going to turn it onto the courthouse. Okay. I'll be right back. Stand by, everybody.
Alrighty. My civic duty is now done, is now finished for today. My civic duty is now finished for today for all those that wanted to see how long. That took a total of three and a half minutes. So now, what does that mean? That means that we have the right to vote for who we want, and I just voted. So that's what I hope everybody does. Uh, early ballot started last week. And anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, I'm heading up to Chicago here in a little while with a friend of mine. And then uh, we are going to start today. Hope everybody has a great day, but the voting now for me is finished.